Hi, this is Don. I want to take a couple of minutes and go over a confidence interval problem using StatCrunch. Now this is a typical problem you might see on a quiz or an exam and we want to examine it a bit. We're asked to find the 90% and 95% confidence interval for the population mean. They want to know which one is wider and they say you use technology, which I'm always advocating that. Now let's inspect the data. It's summary data. We don't have the raw data. We had a sample size of n. Now that should tell you, give you a clue that we use the z distribution, the normal distribution, instead of the t because it's greater than 30. We have a mean sample price and a sample standard deviation. So let's open StatCrunch. I'm going to drag that down so we can see the data. Remember we go to stat and this is Z stats, again the normal. This is one sample with summary. So we enter in the sample mean of $641.10. The sample standard deviation 5670 and a sample size of 48. Now I'm going to click on confidence interval and our first solution is for the 90% confidence interval. Get that out, move it up so you can see it. We've got the sample mean of 641.1, which is what they gave us, of course. Lower limit of 627.6, which is less than 641.1. And an upper limit of 654.6. Drag that down, and yes, that's the same answer that they get. So let's run the second one. All we have to do is click on Options, Edit, so that we don't have to re-enter the data. And we're going to change the interval to 95%. Click on Compute. And this time we get a lower limit of 625. That rounds to 0.1 and 657.1. Let's drag that down. And yeah, that's the same answer they got. Okay, finally the question is, which interval is wider? Well, think about it for a second. You might say intuitively that 95% would give you a smaller interval width than a 90% because you're, you think you're closer to the, the population mean. But that's really not the way you should think about it. For an example, use the idea that you're a basketball player and you shoot 90% of your free throws on a standard 18 inch diameter basket. That's pretty good, 90%. But what if I gave you a 24 inch basket, six inches wider than the, than the standard basket? Do you think the same shooter, you the same shooter, would score more free throws? Yeah, you're more likely to get more free throws in because the basket is bigger, because it's wider, the diameter is bigger. Same thing's true if you think about the confidence interval. We're trying to capture the population mean. We know the sample mean and using the standard error, which is again function of the standard deviation and the sample size, we can calculate this lower limit and upper limit. To be 90% sure if we ran this experiment several times that we captured the sample mean, you could use a narrower confidence interval. If you want to be 95% sure that you catch it, you need a wider interval. So let's check and see if that logic holds true. Yeah, that's what they say. The 95% interval will be wider than the 90%. Well, does that hold true for other sizes? Well, let's just check. Let's rerun this. I'm going to edit again. And this time we're going to put in 99%. You can't see it, but I'm going to click on Compute down here. No, I can't. I'll move this up. Click on Compute. And this time, I'm going to drag it down so we can see the other two. This time, for 99% interval, we've got a lower limit of 620 and the upper limit of 662.1. Now that is wider than 625 and 657, which again is wider than the 90%. 
So just think about it that way. The bigger the basket, the more likely you are to capture the mean, the population mean.